on my headlight here I have this broken piece that was glued on with some kind of glue I don't know what kind of glue they used and there's a piece of section of plastic missing I'm going to try and see if I can I can't really weld this piece on where it welds onto I could probably weld something in the hole here but uh, this welding this piece on I don't have a lot to work with so uh, what I'm going to try to do is um, I just glued a couple of plumbing fittings on with two different kinds of glue that are supposed to be compatible with with um, ABS plastic uh, this is one here I couldn't find just a straight uh, Ote um, ABS but this one goes ABS to PVC which is exactly what I did right here with these fittings now these are old fittings they're just spares that were in the junk and then I also use the regular um, all-purpose which is also good for ABS on this one here I did it according to directions this is old purple primer it's not quite as purple as it used to be but it's not that old it's year old maybe I don't know so we'll see what this does uh, tomorrow when I get home we'll give that a test and see how well it holds up here's one of these mounting tabs that's broken I don't know if you can I guess you can see that right there it wasn't broken off but it's just loose I started to weld that up with a, a, a soldering iron and then I decided to go ahead and buy a kit I couldn't tell looking at the pictures on Amazon but this uh, foot on here is a little bigger than I wanted to go with and well I'll still be using it and it comes with a piece of screen wired I can cut a piece of that out and, and uh, kind of weld that into the plastic here and it also comes with these things here welding uh, sticks it's for it's all plastic welding I have a hot air plastic welder but it's going to be too hot and too intense for fixing a little bitty thing like this that's for a large a larger job uh, this is where the soldering iron will come in handy and so after I use the small soldering iron on this then I will use this one and with a piece of screen and mash the screen down and I'll do that on video and repair that I've got a couple of those that I have to fix like that on this thing okay here we go I'm just going to start on this one that I don't think is going to do as well and uh, see how much approximately what kind of press didn't take any pressure at all and it broke right off so that's not going to work that's the all-purpose that's the all-purpose glue here's the one that's uh, in that green bottle well that one didn't do much better so these are not going to work I can try another thing um, this is a kit of this ultraviolet uh, stuff that they're doing now this um, comes with some glue and some ultraviolet light that you seal the glue with I kind of doubt that's going to do anything but, but that's instant so we don't have to wait a day to see what that does I'm going to go ahead and do it on the same spot here
this is an instant cure we got to turn the light on here and seal it I guess I could zoom in a little bit. Now just to give it a fair shot, I really don't know how much light it needs on it before it's going to get all it's going to get. But just to be fair, I'm going to put a little bit more glue around the outside since I can't really I can't really um, be sure that I'm getting the light on where the piece actually is mating on there I don't know if we got this thing cured as much as it should be or not. Let's give it a shot. Well, it doesn't hold any better. It holds, but not any better. I gotta find out something to do on this because these are not these this glue is not going to work. Both of these glues are holding pretty good onto this PVC. This one with the ultraviolet, it's holding on pretty tight onto the PVC, and so is the um, other stuff. The the, the um, all-purpose. Let's see how good this... Well, as you saw it just came right off the ABS but it doesn't... but it uh, it holds pretty fair on, onto the PVC so it's, it's still good glue but not good enough Put that broken piece back on here. Um, looks like I do have to weld it on. I don't know of any other glue offhand. If somebody does know something that's worth trying, but by the time you see the video, it's already going to be together. So well, let's. Um, I'll just weld this on, I guess, with the soldering iron and then build it up on the outside with those little, um, everything I'm finding on YouTube is saying to use alcohol, yeah, Walmart brand, to clean. I'm going to go ahead and try to weld this up since I'm having trouble finding a good glue to use on it. It's one glue that's easy to get that I have not tried yet. But 
I'm going to go ahead and weld it first. And I might put that glue on the outside. And that is crazy glue with baking soda. I keep hearing that one. This thing was mounted with the other three holes, just this one not mounted, but it fit in there tight enough that I wasn't too worried about it. It was, I didn't know this was broken in the four years that I've had this bike. But by this one being broken, it's going to put a strain on the other ones. But it only has just a little bit that I can weld to. It's a little bit right here because this is glued onto the glass with the sticky gummy stuff onto this glass right here. So that doesn't count. I can't weld that. And then the rest of this, just a little L-shaped place right there and then a little place right over here. That's all I can really weld to because the piece that goes here is, is missing. So there's not a whole lot, but if I get it on there, I might be able to build this up with something else. And if I got room, I'll weld this on here tight enough to put this in place on the fairing and if I have room, I just might laminate some fiber gra uh, fiberglass across here. Uh, that might work. I don't know. But to get things started, I'm going to use a heat gun just to warm it up. keep my hand here. I'm going to put too much heat on the glass and put a strain on the glass and make it break. Because my shop is not real hot in here. It might be 60 degrees. And this little skinny soldering iron that I'm going to use really doesn't have any power. Little, I call it a pencil soldering iron. It's black on the tip right now because it's got plastic on it from starting on another piece. But I take a piece of sandpaper and clean the end of that off. These are what you use on circuit boards and stuff. Very fine, small work. Doesn't have a lot of power, so but it has that small, fine point. So that's why I'm preheating this a little bit first. Heat up around the outer area so that it doesn't cool down too quickly. I'm just going to push down into the crack a little ways and it's going to raise plastic up around the outside. And then I'm going to fold it from the edges back into the middle. So that's just a, the first the first little crack there. I'm going to catch another one down here.
And to make that strong enough, I really need to add plastic to that. And I'm not sure I have anything compatible I'm going to try. I'm going to try to put some more plastic over the top of all of this that I'm doing right now.